Girls have been seriously injured tonight when they were hit by a car as they left their school in Liverpool. Two of the girls are said to be in a life-threatening condition. Roads were closed around where it happened and the 80-year-old driver was treated at the scene. Let's talk to our Merseyside reporter Andy Gill. He is at the scene for us uh, this evening. Andy, a, a really uh, frightening time for all those involved and for the parents as well. Just bring us up to date, if you would, with the latest. Well, as you can see, Roger, the road is closed and has been for some hours and I suspect will be for some hours as well. A hundred yards behind me, behind the cordon, is a yellow Peugeot car straddling the pavement and the road. That's the car at the centre of this inquiry. Police tell us it was driven by a woman in her 80s and eyewitnesses said that at about, at about 3.20 this afternoon it hit a group of pedestrians. Um, eyewitnesses have told the BBC that the scene was uh, carnage uh, and that there were victims of this crash lying in different parts of, of the road. Uh, the school, the Belvedere School, which is just at the end of this road, have posted a letter on their website confirming that the people involved are pupils at the school. Uh, seven of them taken to hospital, six have been taken to Alder Hay Hospital in Liverpool. They're aged between 11 and 13. Another one, a 17-year-old girl, was taken to the Royal Liverpool Hospital. And Andy, uh, as you say, they've been taken to hospital. What do we know about the injuries that they have sustained? Well, the ambulance service, service tell us that uh, eight people uh, were treated. One of them was discharged here at the scene. Uh, of the others who've gone to hospital, we're told that two of them are, are seriously injured, two of them are less, uh, two of them critically injured, two of them seriously, and the others less seriously injured. Uh, we're told that none of the uh, pupils have um, life-threatening injuries, and that's something that's come from the ambulance service and from the letter that the Belvedere School have posted on their website. This road, as I say, is going to remain closed for some time. Uh, the car at the centre of the accident is still here and police will clearly want to uh, make major inquiries as to how this accident happened. Andy, thank you uh, very much indeed. Andy Gill there at the scene. Our team will stay there throughout the evening. We'll have the latest at 10.30. And uh, if anything changes on the story while we're on air, we will bring you the latest before the end of the programme. Now to the farmers in Cumbria who say they're struggling to survive financially after the floods. Around 650 farmers across the county were affected. One of them is David Martin from Levens.